Tanzania Bus Rapid Transit System With the rapidly growing population of the city, the government of Tanzania began to draw plans for the rapid transit system in 2003. The government predicted the population to grow over 5 million by 2015. It is instructive to note, the Tanzanian government has made great and progressive strides in contributing to easing traffic congestion in Dar es Salaam. On today's vlog, we'll be exploring and seeing what the bus rapid transit system is like in the city of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Karibuni Tanzania, welcome to Tanzania. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel and do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Thank you. So I'm literally outside the Kituyo Chabasi Kisutu bus station. That's the Kisutu bus station. Now, what, one of the things you'll have to bear in mind that this bus rapid transit system is different than the Dala Dala. This is something here what you're looking at is a program and a scheme that was introduced to help ease the traffic congestion here in Dar es Salaam. Now these buses are of course blue in color, very modern, sophisticated, and it's a very highly efficient system. Now you can recognize the bus stop and they look exactly like what you're seeing in front of your screen right now. You will see the sign, the bus station, and of course you will have to walk up to the front, pay the certain amount you need to pay, and then you wait to get on the bus to go to various areas. Now one of the things you'll have to bear in mind, these buses don't run through every area in Dar es Salaam. No, they run to specific areas here in the city of Dar es Salaam. Okay, so let's get, let's go walk and explore and get a ticket and get on one of these buses and see what it's like. So at least you have an idea of what the bus station looks like from the outside if you do decide to take this system one day okay and of course you just walk up here and the ticket office is right in front of me here what is that Asante sir. So I've literally pur purchased my ticket and this is what it looks like um, inside. So the ticket costs me 650 Tanzanian shillings okay 650 Tanzanian shillings and this is what the ticket looks like they put a rip on it to know um, once you enter inside that it's been used and it costs 650 Tanzanian shillings so let's go and explore get on the bus have a wonder and you will see what it's like inside Just for your information this is a map of all the stops where the buses will be actually going to so if you ever in the area and you're visiting and you're wondering well where does these buses run to these are the areas in the city of Dar es Salaam where it goes to so for example it goes to Posta, City Council, Kisutu, of course Nzimbazi Police Station, Magomeni Hospital so you can just have a look at the various areas where it travels to so you get an idea when you are visiting Dar es Salaam. So this is the inside of the bus. So this is what it's like inside the bus. Very efficient, very tidy, very clean. 
nice vibe. So we're taking a bus ride to our dance now. So that was really nice, quick and effective. I got off at the Manzese bus station and right in front of it is a big market which I'm going to try and explore. But one thing you got to bear in mind, sometimes on the buses, there may not be seats so you'll have to stand up and it could get a bit humid sometimes. So if you're a person that suffers a bit from being claustrophobic, then just bear that in mind when you get on the bus. But generally, it's a wonderful, effective system. It was quick. I got to my destination on time. There wasn't any traffic delays or traffic jams or anything like that. So it's definitely effective. So thumbs up to Tanzania for the bus transit rapid system. Okay, so let's see what else we're going to see in this area here. And let's explore. So you can see pineapples here again, guys. We saw some of that in Karaoke Market. It's definitely pineapple season here in Tanzania and um, one of the things you'll notice across the continent of Africa fruits are seasonal so certain times of the year you will get certain fruits but right now we're enjoying a lot of pineapples and watermelons here in Tanzania guys look at the amazing local style beds I believe they're made from mahogany wood and of course you can negotiate the price for some of these beds if you're looking to buy one but they're really nice and in terms of longevity they'll last you a long time I really do like the wooden style beds and I really like the patterns on it and sometimes you can get um, custom made I mean look at that one there you know you can get them custom made and these are the sofa sets you can buy sofa sets so sometimes when you're just walking on the on the roadside on the sidewalk you'll see these type of businesses set up and you can go and talk to them and you get a much more reasonable price in comparison to buying something downtown but bearing in mind it's always good if you have um, a local with you to negotiate the price or if you yourself are feeling to be a daredevil, then you can negotiate it yourself. So it all depends on uh, your negotiation skills. Yeah. These are Viazi potatoes being sold here. Lots of potatoes. And we got more tables. Yeah. We've got more tables being sold there as well. I guess some people could use it for the kitchen and different things like that. These are all things you can use for the house. You have plates, spoons, and different things like that. And those are the tubs there you will wash your clothes with some people if they haven't got like a washing machine. So this is really a, a lovely local area and when you come to places like here you really got to have your negotiation skills on 
Some people like to negotiate, some people don't. So I guess it really depends on an individual, ultimately. But all of that's what makes the market experience fun, you know? When you come out, you negotiate and all of that, that's part of the experience. I mean, if you don't want to do that, then you could just go to a regular supermarket and just get your things there. But these markets, very unique. That's Oka La Dawa. Duka La Dawa. And that's a pharmacy in Kiswahili. Right there, you see? It's called Duka La Dawa. You'll see quite a lot of them in the local areas. And I guess maybe a reason for that. Sometimes in life, with the hustle of life, you get a lot of headaches. So these pharmacies stay in business. Panadol and paracetamol is something that um, gets sold quite well here. Wow. I mean, look at the designs of, the, of, of these beds, guys. You know, look at the designs. They're actually stunning. I like those beds. And you could get, um, you could get single, you can get double. They're really nice beds, man. Str made from mahogany wood. These are the wood right in front of me that, that they came from. So guys, I think I'm going to end it here. We've explored the bus rapid transit system here in Tanzania. You, get, you got an idea of what the bus stop is like, what the buses are like. So I do appreciate your time. Thank you for always coming back and watch my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. My name is Wemba Imani. And do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Kwaherini!